Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a custom piece of mirror acrylic art. Let's get into it. Today's project is going to be a collaboration with Adam over at Pretty Done. So he is an artist here in Las Vegas. You may have seen some past videos with some heart art as well as some sneaker art. I'll actually put a card up at the top where you can check some of those out. But today I'm going to be using silver and blue mirror acrylic as well as a black backer to create a turntable design that he came up with and drew up using Adobe Illustrator. So this time around, I'm not actually going to show you the design up front. I'm going to put everything together and let you be surprised at the end. The first thing that I need to do is actually apply the adhesive to the blue acrylic. I've already done it to the silver in a past video. So I'm gonna do that first, then we'll cut out all the pieces and put the whole thing together. So with that process in mind, let's get started. I got my tape, I got my acrylic, my knife, and my squeegee. So, pretty simple. I've done this a lot in past videos, but just to show you, I just take this roll of 3M tape and I will apply it to the back of the acrylic, trying to line it up the best that I possibly can. And then just use the squeegee to flatten it out. And for everybody that wants to know what this is, it is 467 MP from 3M. And I will put a link in the description below. Well, didn't do a super great job, but whatever. Still works. Just trim off the excess. And now, Just flatten it out and trim off the extra. There we go. Now that all of the acrylic pieces are prepped, I'm going to cut them on the Fusion Edge. It is a 60 watt machine, so all of the settings in the description below are going to be based off of that. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to duplicate the process. So first up, I'm going to machine the backer, then everything else, and then we'll put it together.
Now that you've seen the process, here is the final result. So I'm leaving the masking on because I want it to be protected until Adam gets this, but I wanted to show it off. So here is what it looks like. So he is a DJ, which I assume is where this came from, but it is a cool design. I like the contrast of the blue with the silver as well as with the black backing. It does have hangers on the back so that he can hang it up, but I think it turned out pretty well. But that's going to do it for this project. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and everything along the way. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share projects like this along the way. Thank you for taking the time to watch it, and I'll see you in the next video.